Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper. Today, I gotta figure this one out, okay? Priority number one was the wood stove. That's in, not only is it in, it is on. Therefore, priority number two, getting this root cellar taken care of and storm shelter, important this type of time of year. Um, getting that up and running is priority number one. It's pretty wet though right now, because we had some serious rains. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to jump on this project today or if I'm gonna have to do something else. Priority number two at the moment then is going to be to put a lean-to off the side of here to keep some of our stuff covered next to our shipping container. But there's a large amount of resources I need to collect to prepare um, some lumber, some cedar, big posts, you know, um, the metal for the roof. There's some welding that needs to be done on the top of here rather than drilling holes. Um, once I get all that stuff assembled and on site and probably the welding done, then I'm going to number of people have expressed an interest to come help with some projects. That's gonna be a project that if I've got a, a crew, I can knock it out a lot easier because there's actual jobs for multiple people at the same time. So that's not really gonna be on my to-do list. Garden work right now is an important one in the spring, of course. I've got a good amount of seedlings started inside. Want to get some stuff direct sown, but it's supposed to get down maybe into freezing temperatures at the beginning of this coming weekend, so I don't want to be sowing too many seeds. I already have peas that are sprouting in a number of areas. There are some small seedling kale that's been doing good. You can see things like this apricot tree are flowering right now, so we might need to cover them this weekend um, just so they don't lose all the, all the flowers and therefore all the fruit. But with the freeze coming up, I don't want to be sowing right now. With it being Sunday at the time I'm recording this, I can't go to town and get some more mulch to add to this to uh, redo my paths, prepare them for the year. So therefore, my fallback plan today, if the root cellar doesn't work, is... Working on the mini barn back there. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it. It's what I really want to do. I'd like to get some of that stuff done. Um, but priorities are priorities, so the root cellar takes precedent over this. I'm gonna uncover that and see if I can, or if I'm heading back here. But I wanna get the rest of the top enclosed, except for that front porch. Except for the front porch right there, from pretty much here over, it's gonna be solid walls around the top. Eventually there'll be a lean-to heading off that way, and a lean-to off the back, but I gotta finish the walls before I can put on the lean-tos. So I'll see if I get into this or not. I'm hoping to, but let's go, let's go find out what we're gonna do today. That cover works pretty good. Keep this the way it should be. Um, I only drilled one spike. Uh, one hole for a spike through the top of here, so I do have one more to add. And then it's a matter of seeing how I'm gonna build up this next one. I've got a couple options. I'm just not sure how it's gonna happen. So, it actually is good enough to work on this. Which is appropriate thing to do. Let's drill a hole in here, drop a spike, and then evaluate which one of the, um, or if I need both, of the concrete slabs I have left. So I'm hard at work on that project trying to get things going and all of a sudden I was blowing breakers, things are wrong, I'm thinking some of the cords were probably wet. I wasn't able to progress and um, we kind of had some other things to take care of. Began taking care of some other things and then we had an opportunity which we decided to take advantage of instead. Guys, we are literally racing a storm right now. Um, the lightning's going, the rain's starting to get heavier. I've got a bunch of night crawlers that we caught recently. Now we're gonna go see if we can get something. 
um, before this gets too intense. We just saw some people, they were laying into them pretty good, catching both like bass and panfish. So we're gonna try to get in on the action while we still can. I'll see you at the lake. Let's go! Okay, we made it here. The guys who were in this spot all cleared out, except for one new guy showed up. And uh, we can actually see Mama Pepper bringing the rest of the kids. Mama Pepper rolling up behind us. Right from the yard, guys. Started shining. Let's we'll see what happens. I'll let you know when we got a fish on. What you got, girl? Uh, I got a fish. Yeah, you did. Bluegill, huh? Get yeah. your slack once and pull it next to you. Show me what you got. Grab your line. Bluegill. Nice. I will put you some water. Saw your pole just to go in there, girl. I felt it, and when Pinky Pepper asked, did we only catch one fish? Yeah, you felt it, but look at the size of that. Put your hand next to it. And it swallowed it. Child, good fish. <laughs> Pinky with another one. That's decent. Not as big as your sister's, but what a beautiful fish. Okay. That makes three. I got a nibble. Pinky says she's nibbling. You, you missed it, huh? Did you? You missed it? Okay, she missed it. Look, I got two more. Nice. We're going. Did that cause you to miss it? Yeah. Yeah, just, just take them. If you got them, take them. Right. Don't wait to video them. That causes trouble. I realize that. So far, these two girls see the ones that caught anything. Monster truck, you gotta help me out, boy. Looks like I'm on the board, guys. Five fish, you said? Yeah. Five I fish. Two and she two and you Which is good, because that bachelor whose house we crashed at the other night, um, we asked him what he wanted as a thank you. He said fish. So uh, he like just told us that before we came here. So we should be able to impress him real quickly. Three. Man, Red Pepper just missed one. She just got another. That'll work. We got seven fish now. Seven? Yep. That'll work. So, Sweet Pepper's gonna jump in and help us. Right, you ready to catch some fish? Yes, sir. She just caught another one, but then she caught this one afterwards. What is that? A crappie. A crappie, guys. I thought it was a bass at first. When I thought it was a white mouth. bass at first. Yeah. So these guys, can you flip its jaw open? They got a real nice big paper mouth, they call them. So you gotta be careful, they eat a lot of minnows. That's the people normally catch them on. Good fish. I caught them on a worm this time. And then the main ones we're catching here right now are these bluegills. They're looking good too. Hey little guy, can I get the bait on you now? What is this? What's that? You pick up a bait. Red pepper caught one. This one here. Shove it in front. I got this one right after. Then Pinky got a big one. So, man, three more real quick. That was fun. Let's keep going. And I found a bait. Good. Free bait. <laughs> Plus a free bait. We get a lot of free baits. Boy, I just missed one. Pinky just got, look at the size of this. Another nice big one. And uh, 
A guy who's been fishing here too, he's got something on. Bass. Good for him. Yeah. So sometimes when we go fishing, we go the first, the biggest, the most, and the most species. What do you got so far? Uh, yeah, so she's actually got the biggest. Hold it sideways. Yeah, there you go. Nice largemouth bass. Uh, you got the most species of three. You probably still got the most fish, huh? And, uh, wow, who caught the first? I caught the second and... Let me get a picture of you with that and we'll throw that one back. Good job. Yep. <laughs> so, so far, Monster Truck, how many have you caught? Zero. How many are you going to catch? I don't know. You're hoping to at least get one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I got some of my pool here next to you. We'll see. Well, I got one, which means I'm catching up to Pinky. But then she got one, which means I'm not. What happened, son? What happened? I caught a fish. You caught a fish. What kind is it? Do you know? Uh, bluegill. Bluegill, that's correct. It's a good looking fish, too. Hey. Come on, child. I was just about to show off my first night bull here. Another one again, and we ain't showing you all the fish, neither are we keeping track. I just know I can't seem to catch up to her. And uh, Monster Truck finally did join us catching some, but looking good. This camera's getting too wet. Bugger came out and took our umbrella away, so we'll give you a total though when we get done, and then we'll have a nice meal probably for ourselves and also to uh, thank our friend for letting us crash on his couch and floor the other night when we couldn't get home. Another one for Red Pepper. <laughs> Nice, have patience. All right, so the guy who was fishing here took off. It's just us now. Um, it took him a while. He finally did land one large mouth, so at least he didn't get skunked. The kid said, hey dad, do you want to give him a big nitro to put on his jig head? So we offered him that, which would have been a good bait. He passed and decided to mosey on somewhere else. I'm not sure where he went. But just to liven things up a little bit for us right now, we're gonna have a contest. We'll keep track, because I won't show you everything that we you know, do catch. <laughs> if we even catch anything, but the goal is to try to catch a new species. We've already got white crappie, bluegill or bream, and then the largemouth bass. So if we can catch a different species, a perch, a white bass, a red-eared sunfish, a walleye, a carp, whatever. Anything else counts. We'll see if anyone can do it, but here we go. All right, guys, so far just bluegills. I caught one, and then to make sure I didn't catch up, what did you do, Pinky? I caught another one. She caught another I mean, nice big one compared to my hand. Beautiful fish. And then Mama Pepper and the four little peppers are going to leave. We're, I'm going to stay here with the big ones. We're going to try to get a meal for us out of it and a meal for our friends. So let's keep going. You caught another one and I got one. What in the world is that? It's just a bluegill. Yeah, so now we're two and two because I caught another one too. It's just hers are bigger, so they're more impressive. More worth showing. Pepper just hooked me in the finger. You may wonder, why would she do that? Well, she just caught this behemoth that we didn't want to lose, so I was helping bring it over, and I had my hand across the line. It dropped on the ground on this side, so if we hadn't swung it over the bridge, we would have lost it. Biggest one of the day so far, and uh, yeah, I'll grow out of it. I forgive her. Look at this, Red Pepper got another one too. Very cool girls. How's it going so far? Good. And just bluegills, since we started a contest, we'll see what we can do. We're gonna lay into some more, at least get a meal for us and our friend, but so far so good. Still just bluegills, but probably my best one yet. So, wanted to show it off, that'll be tasty. So, this whole time we've just been fishing with a bare hook and dropping in night crawlers. Now we're adding a split shot, so a little sinker on it. Um, I've been laying into them. Monster truck just caught another one, very cool. And um, I just had a big bull too, so we're gonna get a couple more and then we gotta get home. Yes, sir! Boy, she just got a nice one too. Lift it high, her child. Boom! She just got a nice one too. 
That's awesome. Boy, if these big ones are down there, let's lay into them quick for a minute, huh? Yes. I didn't want to fish at first, but then I saw Pal laying into them with the sinker. Yeah, you already quit, right? And then you're like, I guess I'll try to catch one more. Seven. Oh. Not bad. Almost ten a piece on average. I'm glad we went fishing. That'll feed us. Drop them in, kids. Wow. Thirty-seven, eh, son? I'm gonna fillet all these up and um, I might freeze them individually like on pans and then put them all together into a bag. Stop by, talk to our friend who let us spend the night at his house the other night. Said, do you want them all just fresh right away or frozen? He's like, oh, well frozen, then I can kind of take some out as need be. So I think I'm just gonna do these all up for him, give them to him as a uh, you know supply that he can have on hand for whenever he wants some. And then that also gives us the opportunity to go fishing soon for us to have some more for ourselves, right mama? That's right. That's right. So, change of plans today, but it worked out well. And uh, thankfully, I mean, we did get cold, we did get wet, but it wasn't too bad and it was exciting. And even those children there, you know, to be willing to fish in the cold rain, um, that takes something. And I told them, I said, you know guys, that's good. I'm glad you're willing to, you know, sit out here in the cold rain to catch fish. And they kind of looked at the other man who was there, who was there in the cold rain, and he had a whole rain suit and stuff, but uh, but he wasn't catching fish. And that's when they're like, Dad, can we give him some night crawlers too? Just because that's the bait we were using that was working. And uh, at least he didn't get skunked, he caught one too, but we will see you next time. And now we got a torrential downpour, so we'll see when I get back on my regular projects. Pop out. You tell them? You tell them bye bye? Wave. Can you give them an L? Oh.